Hello and welcome to the Mobile Builder Series. My name is David Ha and I'll be your guide as we build a mobile application together on the Now platform. Today we'll be walking through the steps on how to enable offline functionality for your very first app. For this example, we're going to enable offline functionality for my active instance applet to show you that we can still take quick actions like edit or create a new instant even when we don't have an internet connection. Admins will have to configure offline functionality for applications, applets, and functions using Studio. After admins enable offline on Studio, users will need to download or cache the data that they need and enable offline mode on their mobile app. So let's get started by enabling offline for a mobile builder application for my task applet, and then for the edit instant and create new instant action function on Studio. On Studio, we'll open up mobile builder. In the top right, we'll click properties. And then we'll make sure that available offline is uh, toggled on, and then we'll click save. And then let's open up active instance applet. We'll go into properties, and then we'll enable it here as well, and then click save. Next, let's also enable the edit instant action. And then we'll go ahead and go to the offline properties tab, and then we'll check mark offline. Then we'll go ahead and click save and update. And then we'll do the same for create new instant as well. Into the offline properties tab, we'll click offline, check mark, and then we'll update. Now that we're done, we need to enable offline mode on our device. Back on our device, we'll tap the gear icon for settings. We'll open up offline and then toggle offline mode on. And then we'll go download and go offline, which will take just a few seconds. At this point, the app's downloading the data to the cache to serve as a check mark before the device goes offline. All the offline changes made are logged into the outbox. And when we reconnect to the network and sync our device, the changes will be updated to the instance from the changes that we made while being offline. Now, on top, we'll see that uh, offline mode is currently on. We'll go ahead and turn on airplane mode as well, just to show you. Now we'll go back to the home screen, we'll click into Mobile Builder. Note that the only applet available um, offline is Active Instance. If I try to open up any other applet, it'll tell me that it's not available. So let's go ahead and click into Active Instance now. In the top menu, we can verify that this action works by creating a new instant. For the impact, we'll say it's high. For the short description, we'll say that my mouse is not working. For the urgency, we'll go ahead and say this is high. And then we'll submit. And then we'll see on top that it was successful. We'll also use a swipe action for this instant here. And then we'll edit. And then we'll update this short description by saying, I need this done within three days. And then we'll change the urgency from medium to high and then we'll submit. And again, we'll see the changes were made as indicated on top. If I scroll down, you'll see that there's also a yellow icon um, that indicates on update actions that this change was made in offline mode as well. So far, our changes have only been recorded on our device. We now have to update the changes to the ServiceNow instance by syncing our device and then going back online. So let's go back to the home screen. We'll click into settings. We'll turn off airplane mode. And if you take a quick look at the bottom, we'll see that we took a couple actions as indicated to our app box. When we toggle offline mode back on, we'll go ahead and sync. Sync complete. We'll see those ent entries disappear from the bottom. And this indicates to me that the sync was successful. And now we're good to go. In just minutes, I just showed you how to quickly enable your work first to work offline. This wraps up our quick intro to offline functionality on mobile. Thank you for watching.